Hello everyone, in this video we will discuss step 10 how to program the auto and manual bump list switch when we use the PID control. The key idea that is uh, when the PID controller works under the automatic mode, we need to synchronize the manual control with uh, the automatic control output. And when the PID controller works under the manual mode, we need to synchronize that set point with the process value. So we need to do this uh, two additional program. Firstly, let's go to the TwinCat 3 online train and let's see without this program, what the potential problem inside the control loop. And this is our PID controller program. And currently this PID is working under the automatic mode. If I put mouse here, it shows this mode that is a mode active. That means the PID is working under the automatic mode. And currently the side point that is a 30 and feedback that is a working around 30. So the system is working under the stable status. And the manual control, that value that is a zero. Okay. And if we go back to this uh, scope, and as we can see, the system is working under the stable status. And same point that is a 30. And feedback that is a working around a 30. And the PID output, that output control signal working around 53%. Manually control that is a zero. This manual control command is not used now. Okay. So currently system everything shows okay. But if we need to switch our PID controller into manual mode, that means we need to switch our PID controller from the automatic mode to manual mode. So let's see what it will be for this uh, control loop. So I will switch this uh, PID controller from automatic mode to manual mode. Select, enter, and then write. Okay. So once I switch this PID into manual mode, we will see this output immediately from 50% to zero. That's because when we switch the manual mode, so it will immediately write this uh, prepared manual control, this value into our PID control. Because we immediately write zero to this PID control, so this process is going up. Basically, it's kind of like a loose control because we totally shut down this actuator. So the system will shift to a very dangerous situation. So to prevent this situation, ideally when the system working under the automatic mode, this manual control command should follow this PID output. And this allows when we shift from auto to manual mode, so this manual control command can follow this PID command. And then we can set a new value to this manual control. This can solve this problem. Let me show how can we do this. So firstly, let me shift to the automatic mode again. Okay, we will leave this system here and let's go to the control underscore PID, this program. Let's shift to the log mode and let me log out. Okay. So to solve this problem, that means when the system working under the automatic mode, okay, so that idea is when the system working under the automatic mode, that means if this E mode equal to automatic mode, then we need to transfer this uh, PID output to this uh, manual control value. So that means we need to transfer this uh, F out to this uh, manual value. With this code, this manual control command will follow the PID automatic control. And once the system change from the auto to manual, that short moment, this manual control will not be a zero. It followed this F out. So once we shift to the manual, this value, we can set a new value on this uh, manual control. So let's log in and go back to the online trend. 
Now our system went back to its uh, stable status. And with this code, we will see. Now this controller is working under the automatic mode. Under this automatic mode, this manual control is copied by this uh, PID output. We can see it here. It follows this uh, PID output control. And if we go back to this uh, scope, the system now went back to its uh, stable status. And now if I switch this uh, PID controller from automatic mode to manual mode, and let's see this time, if I switch to manual mode, right. So we can see because this manual command that followed this automatic output before. So once we shift to the manual mode, this value will stay here, waiting for us to set a new value. Because this value very close to with this uh, current situation, so this process value will not be changed too much. And after we shift to manual, we can set a new control command. For example, we can set a 35 percent set a new value on this manual control. So with this uh, new setting, the process will be changed. But that is much better than immediately set a zero or set a 100%. If I drag this uh, window, so comparing with the last time when the system was shifted from auto to manual, so that time the manual control go to the zero immediately. So the system totally lose control. But now, when we shift this mode from auto to manual, because this manual control command follow the automatic output, so the system will not have a dramatic change. This is the one bump flip switch. That means when the system working under the automatic mode, the manual control command will follow the PID output. Okay, that is the first subtopic. So the second subtopic, that is uh, the PID setpoint bump list switch. Currently, our PID controller that is working under the manual mode. Keep in mind here, if I switch the PID controller into automatic mode, let's see what will be. And before I switch, we can see currently the process is working under the 35 centigrade. But the set point now, that is a 30. If I shift to this controller from manual mode to automatic mode, let's see what will be. Right to automatic mode. So once this controller shift to the automatic mode, the system will work for this new set point. The set point was a 30. And the system value actually that time was a 35. So once we shift to the automatic mode, this system will immediately work for this new set point 30. Can you imagine if this set point was set to an arbitrary value, if the operator didn't check this set point, but he switched this PID controller from manual mode to automatic mode. So this PID controller will immediately work for this new set point. But this set point actually doesn't make sense. Maybe an arbitrary value. So we will see this PID controller will immediately work for this uh, unknown sign point. To solve this problem, we should do this. When the system working under the manual mode, our sign point value should follow this process value. And once we switch from manual to automatic mode, the sign point and the feedback, they are the same, almost the same. And then based on this value, we can set a new sign point. But when we switch the manual mode to automatic mode, this process will not have a dramatically change. That will prevent when the system switch over the mode, the system will have a dramatically change. Okay, to solve this, let's go back to this uh, controller program and let me log out first. And at here, that means when the system working under the manual mode, The set point value should follow this process value feedback. So that means we need to copy 
this process value feedback to the side point. So with this code, when the PID controller working under the manual mode, the set point value will follow this process value. So once we leave out from this manual mode, for example, switch to the automatic mode, this set point will be the same as this process value. Okay, let's download. And let me go online. And currently the system is working under the automatic mode. Okay, let me switch to the manual mode first. And currently this PID controller is working under the manual mode. And our output control, that is uh, the 30%. And with this program here, our side point value automatically follow our process value feedback. If we go back to this uh, online scope, we will see now this PID control, that is a manual control, and the manual control command, that is 30%. Under this manual 30% control, this process value working around 38 centigrade. And this side point value actually follow this process value. Okay, if now I switch this controller from manual to auto, And then we will find this green line that will be a consistent because this value copied this process value before. So it will basically continues on this value. And the process value will be controlled by this uh, automatic PID controller. And from this point, this output right curve that is controlled by the PID. But we can see this process value actually very close with this sun point. It switch over very smooth. With this program, this allows after we switch the PID from manual to auto, this set point is a similar value with our process value. So the process value will now have a, a dramatic change. So let's have a quick review. In practice control, we call this code named manual and automatic mode bump list switch. So this allows our system when the PID switch from the manual to auto or switch from auto to manual, there's no bump for our process value. It will be safe for our process and the system. I highly recommend you add this code for your PID control loop. All right, till now, we basically finish all the topics in this series video. In this series video, we start from one simple program. That simple program we can download from the backup website. And then based on this simple program, we build up our control loop and also, based on this simple program, we added this FB underscore process, this second order system as our controlled object. And then we connect this PID controller with this simulated process object. And after this, we download the program, use this YT scope, use this online train to monitor this whole control loop. And after this, from the previous video, I showed how can we tune the PID parameters. They are KP, TN, and TV. And in this video, I introduced how can we add this code to solve that PID switch from auto to manual or from manual to auto, this is a bump list switch. And all those operations basically very fit for our practical PID control loop. Hopefully those videos could provide some useful information for you. Thank you very much for your watching. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, please give me a thumb up. If you like to watch more videos in my channel, please subscribe and hit the bell. Thank you for watching.